Welcome to one of the last great relics in the NFL, Arrowhead Stadium, for this evening's matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs. Back in your days when you had to take on a team from the AFC, didn't know them all that well. What was it like as we have this little interconference matchup today? Well, I thought back in those days, Jim, we were about ready to show them what toughness and hard hitting was. Uh, today it's a little different, but I'll tell you this, this NFC team, they are a hard hitting bunch. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. Chiefs come out in the nickel. First down and 10. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. Gets past the first wave. Puts up six. This offensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude, isn't he? What play calls he put out there for the guys. They reward him by taking the opening drive and scoring the touchdown. The Eagles for the extra point. Inside of the uprights. The Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Pistol formation. Jamal Charles carries the football. Tackles made. When you have runs like that or big plays and you pick up over 20 yards, that is an explosive play and almost always explosive plays leads to points for the offense. Here they come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Leaps up high and comes down with it. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. The Chiefs get a first down. Well, this is good confidence for the offense, isn't it? To move down the field early in the game and get inside the 20. Let's see if they have a play up their sleeve that can get them in the end zone. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Smith still got the football after the play fake. He makes the catch. Touchdown, Kansas City Chiefs. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. The Chiefs with the PAT to come. Makes the PAT. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. On his way. He's at the 50. And he's going to give his team great starting field position on that return. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking. The speed of the returner gets down the field. And after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. Defense comes out of the nickel. First and ten. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. Could have been intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath, 
or right down the middle. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Second and ten. Looking across the middle, that pass was hurried. for the defense here. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Out to the 23. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. First down here after the completion. Ball is batted down. Good job by the linebacker. Just watching the quarterback reading his eyes. He made the move at the right time, and he knocked the pass down. Chip Kelly now makes a debut in the NFL as a head coach. Coming over from the University of Oregon, there are a lot of folks who wanted him uh, coming into this offseason. Yeah, he was a hot coach. No doubt about it, Jim. A lot of people wanted him to be the, the head coach for their franchise. Uh, Chip Kelly, let's see. He might be one year late to the NFL. His system was used by a few teams last year. Now everybody spent the offseason getting ready for the read and react by the quarterback. We'll see how it goes for Chip Kelly. For about five. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. A reception on second down, but not enough for the first. Third down. Got a little screen set up here, and he hauls it in. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion, and there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. Back at the line after that catch for a first down. Throwing now to his left. And he's brought to the ground. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20 yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. That's second down coming up. in shotgun formation throws to the right he's in the end zone touchdown what a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown but in today's game these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic they've got to make the catch that time he did the Eagles now will tack on the extra point Add the extra point, the kick is good. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and ten. Running to the right. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line.
Charles is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Second down and seven. Action fake, makes the catch. He's brought down. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. Nice tackle. That's a good job by the quarterback recognizing it's man-to-man -man defense. And when you see that, just watch the receiver lead him to the open space. Nice completion. Here's the first snap after the big play. Trying to work that left side. They've got him down there. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Second and three. And they'll give it to Jamal Charles. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. The Chiefs will approach this play from out of the pistol. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. Dustin Colquitt looks ready to boot this one away. The Chiefs face fourth down, but want to take a timeout before they snap the football. The second quarter is underway with this snap. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. First and ten. They hand it off to him again. Good job by the defensive line, standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Phil, one of the big stories this year about the Chiefs is the new regime here, with Andy Reid now, the head coach. Yeah, Jim, change is good sometimes. You know, Andy Reid in Philadelphia for so long, and it's like the town was tired of him. The players are not listening. Now he gets a fresh start in Kansas City, and Andy Reid's track record speaks for itself. He's a pretty good coach. Well, you're right when you talk about Reid. Tremendous track record there in Philadelphia. So many years in the playoffs, one time to the Super Bowl. Now he comes to Kansas City, brings in Alex Smith, and he's ready now to bring new life to this franchise. Yeah, and, uh, and they're starving for some victories out there in Kansas City. So I know the fan base, the organization, the players all got to be excited because Andy Reid is taking over. So that, that's a big thing for the team. So you've got emotion on your side. Now just get that team organized a little bit. They do have some hidden talent. It should be a successful year for Andy Reid. Touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. here they'll talk it over before running a play on first down LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield long ball to Deshaun Jackson incomplete
That leads us to second down. They motion the receiver around to the other side. And they can't connect. They went for the deep throw, but the defensive back was there. Yeah, good job that time. I got to give the defensive back a lot of credit. He was not caught sleeping out there. He was alert, read the right keys, and he was right with the receiver to knock down that deep throw. Third and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Terrible job by the quarterback. It's third down. You throw it short of the markers. Well, you get a completion. That's great. Uh, you're really accurate. But there were guys open down the field. Take a chance and go for it. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. First down on the way. Here's the quick toss. Touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The Chiefs for the extra point. Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. That little wiggle just left the defender standing there. Sean McCoy is in the backfield. The reception, easy, wide open. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. That reception gave them the first down. Fix looking long. And he's intercepted. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Alex Smith will take it right from the center. Quarterback drops back, play action. A pass complete. I think the best thing to say about that play is just that it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Charles is lined up in a single back formation. A second and three. They'll run it off the toss. Big gainer there by Jamal Charles. You got to keep giving the football to Jamal Charles because if you give it to him enough, sooner or later he's going to pick up a big gain like that one there. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Smith still has it after some nifty play action. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. Fasano's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Nice job by the quarterback, finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Offense still looking for a first after that completion on second down. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down.
First down here after the run. Right back to him one more time. He stacked up at that point. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home, they stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The Eagles use another timeout here, and they have one left. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Alex Smith from the gun. This play will hold up. He's inbound. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, do you? The way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Now first and ten. Catch is made. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. What a drive this has been. Jamal Charles powers his way across. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Ryan Suckup ready for the kickoff. Good things happen on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind and stop the touchdown. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. Well, even though they didn't get the completion, I like the fact that they tried to throw the football deep down the field. Keep that defense off balance. Under two minutes to go in the no half, way. and that means we've oh, got a incredible. booth review. Inside that. the last two minutes, this one had to be instigated by the folks upstairs. They challenged the call on the field, and in fact, it was the proper thing to do the play is overturned. Yeah, good job by the officials upstairs seeing it, knowing there was a mistake on the field. That's what I love about the NFL. I'm not afraid to admit to say they made mistakes and turn them around. Sean McCoy is in the backfield. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And incomplete. Completion it sets up third and ten. That's an interception. Ball is out. This one's going back the other way. You got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Deep down the field to Bo. Split backfield here. They'll just spike it right here. No, wait. It's, it's a fake spike, and they're going to throw. So that's going to do it for the first half. 
Chiefs are up in this one. We're back here now in this one where the Chiefs are leading by seven. Let's go back to the sidelines. Danielle Bellini has the latest. I had a moment to speak with Coach Kelly during halftime. His team is on the wrong side of the scoreboard so far today. He said we haven't played great football today. It's as simple as that. This is the NFL, and if you want to win, you need to play great. Average just doesn't cut it. Guys, let's see if they can be great here in the second half. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Fasano's playing out of position in the backfield here. They pounce on him there. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Looking to the right side and throwing. And he's almost intercepted. Well, but there's man-to-man -man coverage on the defensive side. And the defense does a job like this where they are covering those receivers. There is nothing a quarterback can do except that throw another incomplete pass. Jamal Charles is in the backfield, getting sacked. This defense is awesome at blitzing. That time they blitz, they get the sack on the quarterback. They time the snap count perfectly and catch the offense by surprise. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. Alex Smith will take it right from the center. Play action. Makes the reception. The tackle was made. Got to have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And and at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. And they'll run the football with Charles. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Second down. Let's go. Play fake here, getting away from the pressure, and he's taken down. Hard to get these hits against quarterbacks now, these blind side hits, because everybody's worried about getting hit as a quarterback, the protections, all the smart things they do, getting rid of the football fast, but they couldn't stop at that time. Big hit. The defense comes out in the nickel. Third and 20. The Chiefs get a first down. They bring him to the turf. That's a terrible job by the defense and the gentleman. You, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover him down the field, and you give up the first down. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Going to be a tackle for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Jenkins is a receiver in the slot. Second down and 12. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Fumble. The defense has the football. That'll stop the play right there. Well, that's what you call a takeaway. That time the defense just hit the ball carrier so hard that he had to give the football up, and they lose it. Nickel formation here for the defense. McCoy has got it. Counter run. And that gets the first down. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs. Good job by the offense. That brings the play to an end. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. 
new set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Jackson's lined up in the slot. Second and 11, going across the middle, reaches out and grabs it. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Selix, a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Third down and nine. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. That's just a bad job by the quarterback that time. Bad decision. He keeps the football, doesn't pull the defense, and he gets taken to the ground. He loses yards. Fix got it in the gun. Fix looking long. And they'll turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. They come to the line, and it's first down. Here's the quick toss to the running back. He's got some daylight. What a run by Charles. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. The defense gets a sack. Boy, good job that time by the defensive line. They just overpower the offensive linemen. They just collapse the quarterback and they get a sack. Throws to the right. Complete. 25 on that play. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. A yard. I cannot believe that. 15 minutes to go, and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. The Chiefs possess the football and try to take advantage of a big gainer right at the end of the third. This play set up by the long gainer. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Great night. defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. Gains about three. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Flip to the outside. Touchdown, Kansas City. Well, that's really having deep belief in your offensive line. In the third and goal, your offensive line just road grades the defense out there and they get the touchdown running the football. The PAT sails wide here. <laughs> Ryan Suckup ready for the kickoff. a halt. Guys, guys, guys. 
Offense lines up here. First and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Gains nine. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion box. McCoy's lined up as the single back. Oh, and almost picked off that time. When receivers are running drag routes across the field, you got to have nice touch and accuracy on the football. That time, the quarterback just throws it too far in front. Split backfield here. Third and two. Unable to complete that one, and that's a very quick three and out. the pass. Jeremy Macklin makes the grab. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Michael Vick will be under center. Here it's a third and ten. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Well, you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field, play tight man-to-man -man coverage. It takes perfect throws to get completions. Not there that time. Paper, paper, paper. Cooper's lined up now as a slot receiver. The wide receiver in motion. Fix looking long. Makes the catch deep down the middle of the field. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. How about this gift? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. Kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. First and ten. Gets away from the pressure. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Lined up in the pistol formation. Second and ten. He'll go to the left. Breaks free. Bringing the play to an end. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. Come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. 
They were ready for that play and they stopped it. The clock is winding down. The offense would like to just run it out. Second and 12. Challenging the defenders to the right side. In on the stop. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. The clock's really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. This is a big time return. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking, the speed of the returner gets down the field. And after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. Avon's going to get set in the slot for this snap. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. He wants to go deep. And the pass is picked off. And that will all but do it. All right, well, I have to say, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Play action. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? Going to lose yards here. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Fasano's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. They're in punting formation. It's a gain of eight. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. McCoy. And they're going to run it right. The outside linebacker that time just did his job very well and gets in there and makes the tackle for very little gain. Second down coming up. And he's brought down right at the 42. I know at home a lot of people are saying, well, why are they running the football in a situation like this? Because they're down by multiple scores, and they don't want to get their quarterback killed. They'd like to see him play next week. So they're doing a good job of managing the game here. The pass falls incomplete, and they fail to pick up a first down on this series. The 
Lashawn McCoy is in the backfield. He'll throw it over the middle. They failed to convert, and now a change of possession. First down, offense readying for the snap. Jamal Charles carries the football. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Offense lines up here. He gets the toss. He's got room. Gainer there by Jamal Charles. You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you've got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. Play action fake, looking to throw. That ball is picked off. Tackles made. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. The Eagles have to take their final timeout. That's it. Selix, a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. Very nearly intercepted. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. This, this game is about to finish. down and 10 pitches it back it's away from the stack LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play that's it this game is over well Phil I enjoyed watching the game with you and how about a final thought about that victory well you know Jim I wish I could say the same that I enjoyed spending these <laughs> last three hours with you but that's just not the case but no just kidding of course nice win they got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little tonight I think I'll see you next week, maybe.